In 2016, we bought a boat we aptly called Mood Swings, primarily as a platform to film our online fishing courses and the travel to remote fishing destinations. Our latest journey heading south was plagued by mechanical issues, but not to be deterred, we decided to head north after the repairs and put up with the challenges associated with monsoonal weather. Oh. Hi, I'm Ryan Moody, this is my wife Karen, our two sea dogs, my mate Maxie, and our fishing weapon from the blue boat. Join us on our northern adventure as we have a few dramas, see some amazing locations and catch some great fish. Heading north to Lizard Island and beyond. It's windier than it was yesterday. It's wasted. Super gusts. Well, can't do much about it. But you're complaining to Huey. <laughs> Huey. Yes. Hold up on the boat. What are we going to do today? No music because Spotify, we got hacked and my uh, credit cards, I cancelled all my credit cards and then when I reinstated them, they've cancelled all my YouTube premium downloads, all my Spotify downloads. Everything we've got to change. So we've got no music, we're just sitting here. That's why we just love scammers and hackers, because they just screw our lives up so much. Enjoy. Uh, we're going, we're going to try and go for a walk, maybe, up the hill and get some more. Uh, get some music downloaded and some internet, checking with the team, that kind of thing, over this afternoon. So the windy days do give us an opportunity to, well, just clean the boat, vacuumed, done some washing. It's good to, and the wind's been great to dry everything because drying stuff on the boat, once it gets salt water on it, is a real pain. Uh, just never, nothing really seems to dry properly unless you really wash it properly. It's been a lot better with forking like gas billowing down through the valley there. Yeah, it's no been very con. comfortable. Don't need the aircon running, so we can turn the Jenny off. off. Yeah, you can turn the Jenny off at night. It's nice and quiet, so it's been lovely, actually. Good sleeping weather. Yeah, good. It is good sleeping weather. Good relaxing weather. So, wind down from um, you know the year. It's been nice. Well, these last couple of days where we're sitting here pretty much doing nothing is the first days all year where we've had a chance to do that. Previously, after discovering we had an issue with the anchor winch, a little bit of troubleshooting and we soon found out what the problem was. Turned out the up function on the relay switch had burned out. For the time being, we managed to trick it into thinking down was up. Down? Yes, it's coming up. Anyway, we managed to order the new parts and Karen done a great job bringing around doing all the organisation. Once the parts were organised and on the plane, we then picked them up from Lizard Island Resort and took them back to the boat. So now, it's time to reinstall the new relay and switch and get us up and running again. What about now, mate? Yeah, gone now. Yeah, righto. The new relay switch for the anchor has arrived. Uh, Max is going to chuck it in, he's an electrician. It's just a matter of swapping everything over. But um, yeah, Max is going to do it for me, which is great. And hopefully it'll get us out of trouble. Or into more trouble. <laughs> no. We're just going to unbolt all the terminals. Uh, all the cables from the terminals and, and reinstall the new and take the old song with that and put the new one in. But we had to do uh, reverse the wiring so to get it to uh, winch up because the winch up side of the solenoid had died by the looks of it. So it's got to reverse that, get it back to where it should be so then it all should work normally. That's the plan anyway. Looks he's there for moral support as usual. Turning the power back on to the winch and the breaker and then I'm going to go and give it a test. Okay mate, I'm right to go. Might just need Karen to look out the window. 
see if it's going up or down the right way. Yeah, right, I carry as watching. Did you turn oh, that? No, br- it's got the chain on it. Yeah, no, we'll just have to take the hook off too, right? The safety hook off. Okay, mate, I'll run down and do that. Try and bring it in a tiny bit. Uh, I'm just going to lift it up first, mate, a little bit to, so she can get the hook off. Is that okay? Yeah, mate, go for it. Just do it as normal, see what it does. Right on. No, nothing. Did you turn the circuit breaker back on there? Uh, yeah, mate. I'll just go back and check. Uh, might be something else to go with it, but that's definitely cooked as well. Now we can get it out and have a look at it. See the hot connection. Right? Yeah, mate. Just try that again. Okay, I'm going to push up now. No worries. No worries. Well, we're now operational again. Yep. Thank you, Maxie. Thanks, Maxie. It's all right. No drama. Yeah. It's a very it's simple that. fix. It is. Yeah. I'm just going to have the part. Normally, that's your job, Ryan. We've had to fix I've it. I've replaced so one of them before, but it's good to have Maxie on board. That, yeah. And, uh, yeah, he can put his skills to the test. Yeah. And um, Although I still think we need a bigger winch, because when I bought that winch, it was for a rope anchor and we've since swapped it out to a chain anchor and I think that puts a lot more load on when we bring it up from deeper from water. From deeper water, mm. yeah. But when we first had that chain on, bringing it up from 30 metres, it wasn't labouring like it does now. Or oh, maybe that little switch. So maybe thing. it has got yeah. something to do with the switch. That's so. all noise just slowly getting yeah. See worse and worse with the load and yeah, it just decided to shit itself. That's it. Now, it's either that or the winch is starting to slowly shoot itself. Yeah, but yeah. so. well, how, how's our luck that our anchor situation happened in when it's blowing a gale and we're not going anywhere anyway? I mean, it has not impeded us no. at all. No, Although we you're, it, and we you, still tricked it so you could winch up. Yeah. yeah. So we could still winch up. We just had the free ball. So now you've got both options back. Yeah. And back up, yeah. So you don't have to worry about getting up there and busting your elbow to no. undo it manually. No. So good to go yeah. again. Now we just need the wind to drop. Wind, come on. Down a little bit, down a little bit, down a little bit. It's like it's dropped out maybe two knots since this morning, so it's only blowing 38 knots now. (laughs) When I woke up this morning at sunrise, it was coming in through a window. (laughs) I said to Ryan, it's worse today. Yeah, anyway. But it's good. Well, the whole East Coast is blown out, so it doesn't matter. And at least, you know, at least coming up here, we got, you know, five good days of weather, Yeah. Uh, whereas if we went south we would have had those big northwesterlies that were down there and then it turned straight around to a southeast, big southeast. Oh, so I don't at least mind we getting managed, stuck here. It's, we no, but at least we managed, more. you know, five good days of weather, so, yeah. and be able to go fishing and snorkeling. Oh, yeah. Better oh. than being stuck 250 kilometres offshore in 30 knots. Mm. So, we're all operational until the next thing breaks. Nothing, <laughs> else, nothing else will break. It's all good. See this? I've got a spot just for that at the end of this trip. It's not I'm going to put an assist talk on and have a jig. Yeah. Put <laughs> a hole for an assist yeah. talk. Let's put yeah. some assist talks on it and see if we can catch a fish on it and see how lucky it is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> All right. I'm going back to my book reading. Well, we're going to just wait and see. If this weather drops out a little bit lucky, yesterday afternoon it backed off a bit. So if it does the same again, well, let's waves. have lunch and then walk up the hill. It doesn't matter if it rains. It's warm rain. I don't no, no, care. I was talking about possibly taking this out for a fish oh, out the back here. I see. Okay. Yeah. We'll just the anchor the little boat here and our spot so no one can steal our spot. Well, I don't think anyone's going to steal our spot. We stole their spot. <laughs> <laughs> now we're just going to go for a walk halfway up the hill to see if we can get some phone reception so that Ryan can have a look at the weather and I can check in on our crew looking after the business while we're away. We've had to walk halfway up Cook's Look to get some reception to uh, answer some stuff and talk to our staff. <laughs> it's not an easy walk either. Uh, we can normally get it in the boat when we've got better, better weather, but because there's so much rain and squalls and strong wind, we're just not getting signal to our booster to boost our signal. So, uh, yeah, it's a big walk up the hill every time we want to do something. Uh, it's working okay at the moment. I've just got just enough 4G to talk to a few people and get a few things organized so <laughs> it might be a bit of 
Might lose a bit of weight over the next few days. <laughs> Coming up and down. So we've just come back down the hill after going up to get some internet uh, reception and I spoke to PJ who is a close friend of mine who's also always looks after the dogs and house sits our house. She popped this in. She also does errands for us. Um, she popped this Christmas present into the anchor winch relay switch that she organised to be flown over here. And I was going to wait till Christmas to, <laughs> to open it. But I just spoke to her on the phone and she said, no, you must open it now. So I'm opening it now just to find out because it does shake. We don't know what's in it. What is it? Oh, pegs! <laughs> More pegs! We've been whinging that we can't hang up all our clothes because we don't have pegs and those normal pegs, um, just the salt water and the sun wrecks them. Thank you, Pete. I really appreciate more pegs. Now we can ha dry all our clothes on our couple of lines that we have and they won't blow overboard in the gale. Just today I was thinking about exactly that. <laughs> yeah, the simplest things in life yeah. are the yeah. most, yeah. you know, the Makes most me, necessary. Put me a smile on my face too. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> yeah, thank you, PJ. We've uh, got us some pegs, so she's read our mind. It's not going to be much in comparison Thanks, to mate. the next one. Well, we're going to head out and have a fish even though it's 35 knots and pouring rain. But we're gonna do it in this boat. We're gonna anchor the little boat in against the beach. We're going on an adventure. Because we've been sitting here for three days now. More, just four. Like five, six days. No. You've lost track of time. Have I? Oh well, there you go. Um, <laughs> Seems like a long time. Must be good for the soul then. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, oh, we've had things to do, of course. Plenty of teams of snorkeling and walking the hill and Climb up the else. bloody hill to get internet. Yeah, that too. In fact, we've just, I've just been on the sat phone to Emma and we have ordered, or are going to order Starnet, um, or Starlink, whatever Starlink, it is. Yeah. Um, a couple of our students told us about it before we went away, but I just ran out of time. Yeah. And the guy on the boat next door, James, did he say yeah. his name was? Um, he, he's got internet on his boat, so he saw us post last yesterday on Walking the hill. up the hill. <laughs> so he came over to say, if you want Wi-Fi, you can use mine. I've got this Starnet, uh, Starlink, whatever it is. And um, and so I've just got Emma to look into it. So we're going to try and buy one and get it sent over to the island for the last leg of our journey if we manage, if the weather comes good. Yeah. But, um, but as far as fishing goes, we haven't been doing much, but no. we're going to have a crack today in the big oh, We had a good Four or five days on the way up, we got a bit of good fishing in and stuff. And we've we'll run out of fish now. Run out of fish, so yeah, we're going to head out in the big boat. Desperate times call for desperate measures. We're still going to be in relative protection. We're not going to be out in the open in three and a half metre waves. We're just going out behind the island here on a few old shoals I know of, uh, which is semi-protected. Uh, going to leave the, the blue boat anchored up here in the yeah, bay. Yeah, in the bay. And take Coming this thing. Coming alongside this, that's going to be fun when we come back. It's me driving. Yeah, I know. Well, you can jump in and pull the anchor. <laughs> we'll manage. I'll try yeah. not to knock you out of the boat. Well, we'll see. <laughs> All right, well, let's get the anchor up and head out and have a fish in the big tub. Now that our anchor's fixed. Yes. Done backwards before. Okay, <laughs> we could have picked the worst spot. <laughs> well, it's a little ordinary. Anyway, we're going to give it a try. It's a little bit more sheltered out the back there. I'll have a try here first, though. Blown off. Yeah, I know. I'm coming back up. Hang on. I mean, I can keep backing into it, but I'm a bit worried you're going to take one over the back. So we decided that was a bad joke. I'm going to go a little somewhere where. A bit more protected at the back. Yeah, it's more protected. 
just going to go to those top ones up there. Uh, eventually, uh, I'm just going to make my way down the edge of the green zone to get there and just see if I can find any detachments. All right, I'm going to spin around, so hang on. Don't use forward too much, go reverse, okay. like that way. Yeah. Uh, unless I say go forward on the other engine, okay? Right on. Okay, look out dogs. Okay, Maxie, we've got a pretty good shoal here, fair dinkum size. Right. So we've got a bit of drift territory now, not just one little bit. Maxie's on this time. It's my good boat driving! It's your good boat driving? Yeah! <laughs> well, we've missed, missed a few fish. Is it a good one? Is this our dinner? Hope so. Well, we need the island door? No, where's that gaff I brought over? Sweet lip of some description. What we got, mate? Yellow lipper. Little yellow lipper. He'll be nice at that size. Lunch. When they get really big, those ones are not very nice eating, but that size, he'll be good. That's the Spangled Emperor. We've got him for dinner so far. Lunch. Oh! I think I got a trout on. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Nice little trout. What we want. Perfect size for eating. All right, we got two fish in the lunch box. A couple more would be nice. I'd love to give one to the neighbor and uh, get the hell out of this freaking weather. <laughs> Sorry about the bumps, buddy. <laughs> it's alright. I bet one buried the nose and we smashed my balls right on the steering wheel, f***ing knob. <laughs> <laughs> Fish. Hang on, mate, I'll get the gaff. Okay. Ron, Ryan, you're on right, fish on. You're right, I got it, mate. Sort it. Right, oh. Ouch! Oh. Yeah, hey! <laughs> Probably another one, I'd say. Uh oh. Did I just get eaten? It's got bigger oh. though, didn't it? Yeah, I reckon it's a cod or a groper. It's got it. Lost our jig! But we're getting a little bit of uh, food. <laughs> Alright, mate, we'll. Uh, you do a spiel on that. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll re rig you. Well, that's the green job fish Maxie just pulled up. They're a nice eating fish. So we won't say no to that. There's probably quite a few down there because where you find one, there's generally quite a lot more. So I'll get him sorted and get back down there. The things we do to get a fish, eh? <laughs> Drench the camera, rip the boat. I think we'll make this the last drop, eh? Yeah. It's just too crazy. Yeah, we're getting a swell coming this way around the island and we're getting the shit coming directly with the wind. That's why it's like this. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Max is on. Yeah, double hook up. <laughs> Come on. That way, babe. Oh. Come on. That's just got two. Oh, nice bar cheek. Beautiful. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough. We're not going to kill ourselves any longer. No, no. Nice bar cheek. Maxi got two. <laughs> One for the next door neighbours. Yeah, I've got a nice little bar cheek. Maxi got a common trout that's legal size and a nice little spangly. Beauty. Good job, guys. All right, we'll get them in a. I'll go and get a bag, and we'll just we'll slice in and uh, we'll put them in a bag. Really big GoPro, stop recording. Good. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs> GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. Okay, we've just come back in from a short but hectic little session out there in the nasty weather. Hectic in more ways than one. And uh, lost a few good fish, got a few good fish. So we've got a bit of fish for dinner and all that sort of thing now for a while. Uh, tomorrow the weather backs off a little bit, but the boys fly out at lunchtime. And uh, we've got a few good days after that, and then a tropical low coming up the bloody coast. So, anyway. Suck it and see. <laughs> so now we're back in calm water. We've got to do a little bit of a clean up to do because the hatch in Stephen's bedroom and the hatch in the main saloon wasn't locked shut. So in all that woohoo ha, um, with waves crashing over the bow and all the fun stuff to be had when it's conditions like shitty conditions, we've taken some water all over the carpet, which is a bit annoying, and Stephen's bed. So, we'll dry all that out and turn the aircon on and yeah, try and get as much salt out of the boat as we can. There, um, yeah. That's what happens. Things we gotta do to get some fishing content. Made it worse. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> Way worse. Yeah. Oh, Karen done a pretty good job in the end driving, once she got used to it and, so. There's no way you can anchor or there's no way you can bloody face into it, you know. So you're better off drifting. It's only very small little pinnacles and stuff too, so if you miss it by a... Yeah. You haven't got to miss it by much, no. That last one though, gee, I want to go back to that. Yeah. We'll see what tomorrow morning's like. If it backs off like it says, we might take the blue boat out there and hit that last spot. There was all sorts of things on that. There was yeah, good, fish there. good fish there. All right, I'll go and get the blue boat and we'll bring it back alongside. Just leave it on those three for now. Few fish uh, we jigged up. That crazy session out there in that rough weather. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have some for dinner. Give some to the neighbours. They've got a smaller boat. They just can't get out there in this weather at the moment. And uh, we're swapping them for some internet. <laughs> so uh, let's see if this GT comes up. The big one. They're actually babies compared to the ones that were here the other night. They were monsters the other night, they're huge. So once the rain stopped, it was lovely to have a swim over on the beach with the neighbours. It's great to have Watson's Bay to ourselves, really, with just three other boats. Yeah, it's good to always catch up with new boaties yeah. as well. 
Um, Everyone's got an interesting story. Really interesting stories, yeah. Mm. And then, um, of course, coming back to the boat for lunch and Stephen went for a walk up the hill and it was the biggest rain squall. We've it's... had yet. <laughs> and it rained for half an hour, teamed. Gust, teamed gusting down. to 40 plus probably. Stephen's over there in that. He went up to take a photo of a bird. <laughs> oh my God. It's teeming down. Oh wow. Blizz Blizzard Island. <laughs> Blizzard Island. Blizzard Island. How was that? You, you look a little wet, Stephen. Mission failed. No pheasant? Hey? You didn't get the photo? Zero photos and absolutely searched. <laughs> but um, it's been still a lovely day. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, no, it's always good, even if you're not getting out doing too much. It was fun to get out. It's nice just to chill out sometimes too. Yeah. It was fun to get out of the bay and uh, take this out in a bit of rough weather. Yeah. That was fun. Well, it's the only option. Can't fish in much else at the moment. <laughs> So tomorrow, uh, the, boys the boys fly out. The boys are flying out. We Hopefully, you get nice weather. It'll be a nice flight over Lizard. Yeah. Get some if the weather backs off, we may get out for a fish early. Um, take the blue boat. Yeah. If it's reasonable. Well, we could take this again, but we'll see. We'll see. Good but if it's good weather, we'll take the blue boat. Yeah. Do a little bit of fishing and prepping to fly out and yeah we're well, stuck here for well we're supposed to have a days. few good days the following day christmas day and boxing day is supposed to be good weather but uh, as we speak uh, tropical low is about to develop off cardwell and make its way up the coast and it's going to sit right off here so we might be so, back so we'll next be, week we'll be either in, in the endeavor river in cooktown or we'll be back here hiding mm. with everybody else anyway. so we don't know yet <laughs> hey there's worse places to get stuck yeah for sure you know and yeah. it is you know really sheltered yeah well it's so the best anchorage on the east coast here from a southeaster so tomorrow is yeah. another day that's right catch you then. Join us in the next episode where we continue on our offshore adventure. In the meantime, for fishing tips, workshops and fish planner tuition, visit our free training page at ryanmoodyfishing.com. There's a link to the gear and tackle we used on this trip below the video and to follow along here for the rest of the trip, please like and subscribe and we will catch you in the next episode.